In this video, we are going to find the smallest natural number n such that 1000 divides 2 to the n plus 5 to the n minus n. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. The key idea to solve this problem is to consider smaller devices. So we start from the fact that this expression is divisible by 1000. So the idea is to try to reduce this number, say a number that divides a thousand, for example, eight and 125, because a thousand is equals to two to the three times five to the three, which makes this problem special. We are um, having powers of two and powers of five together again. So, I'm going to decompose this relation into 2 to the n plus 5 to the n minus n is going to 0 mod 8. And at the same time, this is also congruent to 0 mod 125. Now, we know that for these individual powers, say 2 to the n, it will always be uh, congruent to 0 mod 8 when n uh, goes beyond 3 or 5 to the n will be congruent to 0 mod 125 when n goes beyond 3. So I'm going to um, deal with these cases separately. For example, the first one, when n is at least 3, I can say that 5 to the n minus n is congruent to 0 mod 8. And at the same time, 2 to the n is minus n is congruent to 0 mod 125. Now before I go further for the case that n is at least 3, let me set the case when n is equal to 1 and 2. Now, when n equals 1, these expressions, well, when n equals 1 and 2, these expressions are not even close to 1,000. In fact, they're equal to 6, and this is equal to 27, and they are all less than 1,000. So no solution for n smaller than 3. I'm going to first use the first congruence, which is that 5 to the n is congruent to n mod 8. Now, the reason that I choose this is that, uh, firstly, uh, the, second, the second relation, mod 125, the number is too big, so it's uh, really hard to calculate um, by hand. And the second reason is that um, the order of 5 mod 8 is just 2, as in the first time that we have a power of 5 to be congruent to 1 mod 8, is 5 squared. So notice that 5 to the 2 is congruent to 1 mod 8. And so we can just say that five to the n is congruent to 5 mod 8 when n is odd and congruent to 1 mod 8 when n is even. So therefore, we are actually trying to say n is congruent to 5 mod 8 when odd and 1 mod 8 when even. Now you can uh, quickly see that this statement is absurd. So we cross that out and that means n is congruent to 5 mod 8. So from the first congruence equation, we know that n must be congruent to 5 mod 8, and so we let n equals 8a plus 5, some um, natural number a. Now after using the first equation, let's look use the second one. So again, um, repeating the key idea, which is to try to uh, reduce the divisor, I'm going to say that 2 to the 8a plus 5 
is congruent to 8a plus 5 mod 125. Then I'm going to um, expand the power on the left. That will be 2 to the 5 times 2 to the 8 and the whole thing to the power a congruent to 8a plus 5. Then 32 times 2, 5, 6 to the a is congruent to 8a plus 5 mod 125. Now we further reduce the 2, 5, 6 into 6 because uh, we can minus that by 250, a multiple of 125. So 32 times 6 to the power a is congruent to 8a plus 5 mod. One two five. Now here we use the key idea, reduce the uh, divisor. So in particular, we're going to say thirty two times six to the a, congruent to eight a plus five. What five? Then all numbers will become much smaller. Two times one is congruent to three a, mod five, and we know that three a is congruent to two mod five, implies that a is congruent to minus 1 mod 5. So we let a equals 5b minus 1, some natural number b. And so we can put this back into n. So we can say that n is now equal to 40b minus 3. Now that's important because we kind of have um, a tighter to restriction on the value of n. Now having a stronger restriction on the value of n, I'm now going to iterate this process as in we keep putting the new uh, new version of n into the equation 2 to the n minus n is congruent to 0 mod 125. So now 2 to the 40b minus 3 is congruent to 40b minus 3 mod 125. And we multiply both sides by 8 so to um, put this away and it will become 2 to the 40b congruent to 320b minus 24 mod 125 now and this time I'm going to choose to reduce the um, divisor 125 into 25 instead so 2 to the 40b is congruent to 20b plus 1 mod 25 Now notice that 2 to the 10 is a hundred as a thousand and twenty-four and that's congruent to minus one mod uh, twenty-five. So therefore two to the forty is just two to the ten to hold into the power four b congruent to twenty b plus one mod twenty-five. Now that means we have one congruent to twenty b plus one mod twenty-five, and the only thing we can deduce for a for b is that b is congruent to 0 mod 5. A multiple of 5 would, uh, would make 20b congruent to 0 mod 25. So now, again, we let b to be 5c, some natural number c, and therefore n is then not just 40b, but now 200c minus 3. So it's a multiple of not just 40, but 200 and then minus 3. I'm going to put this back into our equation again. So now we have 2 to the 200c minus 3 congruent to 200c minus 3 mod 125. Again, we multiply both sides by 8. So 2 to the 200c congruent to 1600c minus 24 mod 125. Now this time, I, I'm not going to reduce the divisor because I know that 2 to the 100 is congruent to 1 mod 125 because of the Euler-Fermat's theorem. So left-hand side is now 1. 1 congruent to 100c minus 24 mod 125. Now I'm going to rephrase this in a better way. 100 is congruent to minus 25. So minus 25c is congruent to 25 mod 125. So um, to divide this equation by 25 on both sides, I can have minus c is congruent to 1, now not mod 125, but just mod 5. 
and so c is congruent to minus 1 mod 5 so therefore we can further let c to be 5 d minus 1 some natural number d and therefore n is now a thousand d minus 203 so the smallest value for n is actually a thousand minus 203 which is 797 and that's our final answer i hope you enjoyed the video feel free to suggest any alternatives in the comments if you like my videos make sure to subscribe to my channel right now thank you for your support see you next time